Deuteronomy 27 and 1. And Moses with the elders of Israel commanded the people, saying, Keep all the commandments which I command you this day. So God gave the commandments to Moses when the Israelites came out of Egypt. He didn't give you religion. He gave Israel laws, statutes, and commandments contained in this book. Let's go to the next precept, Deuteronomy 28 and 1. And it shall come to pass, if thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy God to observe and to do all his commandments, which I command thee this day, that the Lord thy God will set thee on high above all nations of the earth. So the Lord told his people Israel, if you follow these laws I'm giving you, these laws will separate you from the heathens. If you do this, I will set you up over all the nations of the earth. You are my people. So I'm going to give you rules. And through these rules, you will be a light to the world. You will teach the whole earth how to follow me. But something happened. Read the 15th verse. But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. But if you don't listen, you will, you will be cursed. You got your choice, Israel. You can get the blessings or you can get the curses. And you can guess what side Israel ended up choosing. The curses. Read the 15th verse again. But it shall come to pass that thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God to observe to do all his commandments and his statutes which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. All these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. Now when you read the whole chapter, these curses really encompasses the whole 12 tribes. But we're going to pull out what happened to, the, to the, uh, the darker tribes like Judah, Benjamin, and Levi. How did they get here to the Americas? How did uh, uh, Benjamin get to the West Indians of Trinidad and in Jamaica and the West Indians, Indies? How did the tribe of Levi get into Haiti? how the Negroes get to the Americas. Yes. And there was a high percentage of Judah that also was taken into Brazil. Just a small percentage went into Brazil, but Judah is down there too. Some of them. Let's read the prophecy of them coming over here in cargo slave ships. Read the 68th verse. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. With what? With ships. With ships. With ships. The only people that went into slavery in car with cargo slave ships is the Negroes here in America, the Negroes that were taken, the black people that were taken to Haiti, and those that were taken to the West Indies. I will bring you into Egypt a second time with ships. Now mind you that word Egypt only means bondage. That original land map mass was Montezorium or Mizraim. Okay, Mizraim. So it was called Egypt by the, by the Greeks. They seen the Great Pyramids and say, listen, this place must have, been, must have been built with hard bondage. So they called it Egypt, which means bondage. So the Lord shall bring thee into bondage a second time with what? With ships. Further proof that that word means bondage. Hold it and get Exodus 13 and 3. Hold what you have. And we're going to get Exodus 13 and 3 to show you that that bondage, that that Egypt means bondage. Make sure you hold your place, okay? Exodus 13 and 3 to prove that point. Read that. And Moses said unto the people, Remember this day in which ye came out from Egypt out of the house of bondage. Out of the what? Out of the house of bondage. Egypt means the house of bondage. Now go back to Deuteronomy 28 and 68. Read that. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. He shall bring you into the house of bondage again with ships. There's no place in biblical history showing Israel going back to physical Egypt. That's talking about a condition. A condition. You shall go into Egypt a second time with what? With ships. With ships. 
This place we're in is spiritual Egypt. So, the, so these people that took over this land used the same children of Israel that built ancient Egypt to build modern or spiritual Egypt. All right? Hold that. Further proof before we go there, go to Revelations 11 and 8. Revelations 11 and 8. Read that. And their dead bodies shall lie in the street of that great city. So they're going to be in a dead state, which we are in. Go which ahead. Is, which is spiritually is called Sodom and Egypt. It's spiritually. This place is spiritually called Sodom and Egypt. Sodom, because the same sodomy is going on that went down in ancient Sodom and Gomorrah. So is this physically Sodom and Gomorrah? No. But the same homosexual lifestyle is being practiced that was practiced in ancient Sodom and Gomorrah. So it's spiritually Sodom. Why do the Bible call this place spiritual Egypt? Because the same people that served in ancient Egypt is serving here. Let's go back to Deuteronomy 28 and 68 again. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. With what? With ships. With ships. Go ahead. By the way, by the way whereof I spoke unto thee, thou shalt see it no more again. And to let you know that this is the last captivity for the children of Israel. After this captivity, Israel will not see slavery ever again. Israel was in slavery in Babylon, in ancient Egypt, Babylon, the Assyrians, the Persians, the Greeks, the Romans. All the nations enslaved Israel up until America today. You even have the Asians have took over some of Israel. And we're going to go into that in the South Pacific. All the nations have taken advantage of the children of Israel. You have Hamitic people, uh, uh, Edomite people, Persian people, Asian or Javetic people. All these people have taken advantage of Israel at some point. But this is our last captivity. Read. And there you shall be sold unto your enemies. There you shall be sold unto your what? Your enemies. So the same people that Israel used to war with in the Old Testament, which were the enemies of Israel, have now become their slave masters. The Lord says, there you shall be sold unto your enemies. On what? Auction blocks. Sold to Mr. Kennedy down in Rhode Island. Sold to Mr. 